Officials at a local school are investigating how several students were able to get their hands on gummies infused with THC. That's the part of marijuana that gets people high. Seven students were rushed to the hospital today. The doctor who treated some of those students is sharing with our Rowan Belogan what his concerns are with the popularity of what is called Delta 8. Delta 8 is from marijuana, but much less potent than THC, and it's really popular, grown in popularity regularly, can be bought pretty much anywhere. But the thing most people don't realize, like it says on the back of this bag here, it is not an FDA approved product. We had several patients come yesterday after being exposed to what is presumably Delta 8 THC gummy. The problem is we don't really know what they took. Dr. Spencer Green, a medical toxicologist and emergency physician at HCA Healthcare Kingwood, treated some middle schoolers brought to his hospital yesterday. Delta 8 shouldn't really cause symptoms. That's the whole point. Unless you take a massive amount. Green wants to bring more attention to the wildly popular Delta 8. Delta 8 is not illegal, but it's also not regulated, and the products that contain them are not regulated so you don't know if you're actually using it and you don't know what else you may be using. Because you see the signs at uh, smoke shops or other locations regularly advertising Delta 8. And for me, I would assume something like that is being regulated in some way. But you're saying that's not the case. Yeah, you think they're being regulated, but they really aren't. Some manufacturers may voluntarily comply with certain industry standards. Uh, we, say this, we see the same thing with herbal supplements, for example. But no, you know, there's no real oversight in what's in there. Again, my concern is so many times people are using products different from what they think they're using. They're just using things unknowingly, and, and that's a concern because it could be something really dangerous. New Caney ISD police investigating, trying to figure out exactly how and where these students got these gummies from. And Dr. Green says this is a good time to talk to your children about drug use. Reporting from New Caney, Roman Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.